And thank you for inviting me to speak at this conference. And I also would like to join those who, who stressed the importance of debates and of a dialogue as regards the development of the capital, capital market. It is always important. And uh, uh, I was very happy to hear from Mr. Predoyu his view how important capital market is for the, I would say, general economy of the country. As indeed, this is not only something which is, you know, for, for these financial people, but, but, but these financial people should be structured and, in a sense, used in this way so as to uh, bring some values for the society and for, for the economy. I also think that uh, this objective target, which was mentioned by Lucian Angel, to become the emerging market is very well chosen. It, it is a good, uh, a good objective. Um, however, this is a process. And uh, it was also mentioned a window of, of opportunity. Uh, this window of opportunity when it comes to 2015 is uh, slowly but inevitably closing now. And uh, I'd like to tell you, because you know, this, this sort of debates for me has only sense if this is an honest and open debate, that uh, we could be or we can be put on the watch list, on the so-called watch list, which means we can be put on a clear way towards this upgrade, upgrade for the emerging markets uh, in 2015 by the institutions which decide for this upgrade only or rather by a miracle. And I wouldn't count on miracles when it comes to the development of the financial sector. I would rather count on determination and our work, which must be, which must be uh, carried out. <clears throat> we started as quite serious work on uh, the modernization of the capital market in Romania roughly a year ago. And uh, Florin Pogonaru, who was uh, one of the main initiators of this uh, endeavor and of this project, is also today with, with us. And it was progressing quite rapidly. So we came up with a diagnosis what are the main barriers which prevent this market from uh, being a modern market in the sense of the leading markets of Europe or also of our region, of the Central and Eastern, Eastern Europe? This official presentation of the so-called afterwards, it became almost a buzzword of the eight barriers, took place uh, at the National Bank of Romania in February. Uh, this year. Since February to date, many good things happen. So my assessment of this period is not, you know, unique, unequivocally uh, of this uh, kind that, uh, well, we should be frustrated and disappointed. No, a lot of, um, a lot of good developments um, have happened. And uh, it started more or less at end of June, when uh, one of the pioneer problems of the market, the, the, the existence of the so-called mandatory fiscal agents, this problem was, uh, was simply solved. Not entirely, but a big part of this problem has been, uh, has been tackled successfully. Uh, then we saw new bites of secondary legislation issued by the SFA in August, and it gave us ground to also propagate these changes towards international investors by saying that 
you see we have some basic concept, concepts regarding the dividends, um, regulated by, by the local regulator in a way which you should welcome as the, as the, as, as the way towards standardization and, and bringing generally the market towards normality. There, was, there were also other changes uh, in, this, uh, in this August 2014. Um, together with the SFA, we started the process of lowering of the cost of entry or cost of participation in the market. So the SFA lowered their fees and it was uh, followed by, by the stock exchange. So, something like, I would say, small milestones did occur when it comes to the implementation of this program for, uh, for the removal of the barriers. And also, conceptually, the SFA, uh, I dare to say, somewhat inspired by this approach, uh, also uh, systematized their thoughts and it was called STEAM program. And, and, and I think that we are good allies when it comes to, to the implementation of the two uh, programs. One of the most important <coughs> changes which I would associate with this period of time w was also the increase of the awareness and uh, of the awareness not only how important in general terms capital market is, but also what needs to be done in order to really have a capital, mar capital market which would be you know, the object of national pride and not the object which does not really attract the interest of anybody. And I think that this awareness and understanding that the capital market is something of importance has considerably grown over these last months. RASDAQ, which was uh, already mentioned, uh, is also a significant step. And uh, yes, perhaps it needs to be amended. But generally, we shouldn't think of making the laws as of something which, which could be finished at on, on one day. I mean, making the, making the, the good laws is a never-ending story, especially if this refers not to the domains where axiology and values are that important. Because the laws based on axiology and values should be relatively durable and stable. But when it comes to the laws, which are, um, which uh, should give us some product, and the law of the financial market is a kind of product, a, a product which should allow us to achieve some goals. So this is never-ending story. So for me, it is a great event that it did happen, that the problem of, of, of RASDAQ has been uh, not only tackled, but in my opinion, it has always also be, uh, been uh, saved, uh, solved. And now what is important is to, of course, if needed, to, to, to improve the quality of this legislation. However, uh, my main um, conclusion when it comes to, to the summary concerning this recent period is that the main, the main outcome is still ahead of us. So apart of putting aside these small milestone, milestones which I mentioned and even putting aside this change in mentality or mentalities, I have to say that whether Romanian capital market will start developing, building liquidity, and attracting 
the users of the market, that is the issuers and investors, it greatly depends now on whether two important pieces of I would say more global legislation will be enacted or not, and when they will be, uh, and when they will be, uh, when it will be done. Um, I mean by this uh, the the set of regulations which was at first conceived to be a, an emergency ordinance. Now it is rather something which is. Uh, proposed or talked about as a draft of a law. Well, the form of emergency ordinance for me was quite suitable because it was really an emergency to have this tool in order not to lose this window of opportunity to be put on the watch list because this law is not something which, which, which consists of, uh, I'm speaking about the law which is technically uh, the amendments to the capital market law, because this law is not, does not contain uh, the, the beautiful words. It is a tool which was uh, thought to take us to, to, another, to another leak when it comes to capital markets. So now it is, it is somewhere. I think it is uh, even quite difficult to, to define at which stage of the decision process this uh, body, uh, this regulatory body or set of regulations is. Another stream which was stopped is uh, with respect to the fiscal provisions, the amendment of the fiscal code and of the, of the fiscal procedures, where we also had some uh, amendments essentially important for the development of the capital market because we can have really good laws, non-fiscal laws, but then as we know, almost everything can be spoiled or stopped or turned into, into nothing if the fiscal regime is not, is, not is not adequate. So the situation as for now is that yes, yes indeed we have uh, the market cap at the level of um, Budapest Exchange and we are approaching Prague. But the turnover in our market is much, much lower um, than in these two marketplaces. I have a, I have a concrete mission to, to, to accomplish. So I have this tendency to see the, uh, the glass as half empty and not have full. So I could say and I could make here my, you know, my PR by saying that the turnover is 40, 50 percent higher than in 2013. We have a growing interest of international investors and so on and so on. But the question is, what is our objective? Our objective is to be essentially something else than we used to be when it comes to, to the importance of the capital market, the role for the national economy. There are some factors determining whether um, the users of the capital market will come or, or not. Um, I think that uh, maybe four factors are the most important at this moment. The first one is the state or the level or the quality of corporate governance in listed companies, but also in market intermediaries, which was mentioned by Mr. Urzaka when he raised the topic of the safety of investors and the necessary quality of market intermediaries. <coughs> and of course, listed companies. So investors will simply not invest because they will not have enough trust and confidence if this, the, the corporate governance is uh, poor. Then the second factor, uh, certainly not less important, is the correct architecture of the capital market. So believe this or not, but we still don't have uh, a normal architecture.
when it comes to the trading organization, uh, by the, the SFA, we are the market operator, we are regulated by the SFA, so there are very few things we can really do without uh, without the dialogue and the consent coming from the operator. And the stock exchange, together with the members of the exchange, is like a blood system in a, in a human body. But we don't have, or we hardly have, a backbone or a spine of this body. A spine of this body is what happens after the transaction is uh, executed. So how the transaction is settled, how the rights of the investors are executed. Uh, I'm speaking about the settlement and custody system in, in, in Romania. We hardly have a spine of the capital market. And this is one of the biggest problems which can only be solved through legislative uh, measures. Thirdly, the market is, uh, of course, expensive and costly. And here we also should uh, speak not only about the direct costs. The direct costs are trivial and everybody knows that they are too high. So the fees uh, which investors must pay, which are imposed by the SFA, by the stock exchange, by the CSD and by the intermediaries, it makes that the market is one of the most expensive, if, if not the most expensive in, <coughs> in Europe. But I think that a lot of investors would understand this because what we deal with is a kind of economy of scale when it comes to, to the capital market. It is small, so of course it cannot afford to have uh, radically lower fees uh, all of a sudden. But what is not acceptable by the investors are the indirect costs. The indirect costs which are entailed by the lack of liquidity. By, technically speaking, the, the, the wide spread between the bid and ask uh, offers. The lack of liquidity, this is the whole phenomenon. That we have the market cap, but uh, the turnover is not in proportion um, of this market cap. What is the answer? The barriers and all the things which should be removed or replaced by, you know, normal civilization, I would say, when it comes to, to capital market. And then we will see a greater appetite for trading, then we will see higher turnover, better liquidity, a deeper market, and this indirect cost, which is like an assessment of risk, which I will have when trading Romania, then this indirect cost will systematically go, uh, go down. And the fourth element, and I, I, I finish with this, is that, you know, something must go on in the market. <clears throat> so we should keep this momentum. The momentum is quite good. There is a growing association with Romania that this is a market which has an ambition, has the ambition to, to, to be different, which sent uh, two quite large companies to the public market. And even for a while was the, the, the biggest IPO market in Central and Eastern Europe this year. So some market events were already generated, but you know, this is the, <laughs> this is this mystical phenomenon of, of momentum in capital markets. It must be fueled all the time. So the, the privatization, which is in the interest of the, ho for the whole economy, and I would say that privatization through the stock exchange is something which really maximizes the profits we can get from changing the, the, the structure of the economy should progress, should progress. Otherwise, um, um, 
we may face a risk that face a risk that investors will acknowledge that these events of the past were like one offs and uh, didn't give ground for them to expect that to expect that Romania will develop in this direction so their investments are also well grounded because if we want to attract international investors it is in this or that sense uh, connected to some investments they might they must have they must have people they must have analysis they must have knowledge they must have sometimes people on the ground uh, they must prove that Romania is an investable country. Six, seven dividend yield of Romanian listed companies is fine. Nine to ten in energy sector is even impressive. But, you know, as long as uh, we still have these impediments for the entry for investors, it is only, almost only like arithmetical figures. It is not translated into, into a real trading activity. So we have to give a proof of our activism, I, I would say, by sending big assets to the market in this part of Europe after the, the collapse of the previous regimes. We might find these big, large caps uh, only in the state-owned sector or, or mainly in the state-owned uh, companies and we have to produce reforms to, to, to deliver from time to time and systematically the proofs that we have the ambition to develop and to really become the, the, the emerging market. This is, this, is, this is extremely important not only to build our own mentality and understanding for how important is the capital market but the mentalities of the global investment uh, world. This is, this, is, this is a challenge. For the time being, the global investment world is of course quite satisfied that they, they could buy electric or rum gas either by investing in shares or by GDRs, but everybody who is, you know, uh, from the capital market understands that if uh, Romania sends its best companies to listing in London, it is uh, like the highest expression that they don't have a sufficiently efficient and deep capital market at home. So, um, but, uh, but I'm sure of, of, of something and, uh, and, uh, and this is the most optimistic note which I would like to share with you that we can really achieve this and to build this market. But we shouldn't count on miracles. We shouldn't even count that, you know, debating all the time will change the, the situation. We should only count on our work determination and, 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 and consequence in implementing the, the changes. Thank you.